Yo, what up? This is Jensen Kirk. You checking out This Is 50.com. Yeah. Red dot plots, murder schemes, 32 shotguns, make a nigga sing, make a nigga bleed. Ever try and take food from a nigga seed? You'll see IV hanging out his body like a dope thief. What up, everyone? My name is Rose D, and our guest today is Jensen Kirk. You got it right. Jensen Kirk. You got it right. I like it. It's different. Thank you. It's my birth name. It's birth name? Oh, okay. Yeah. That's cool. That's, that's very rare, rapper using his birth name. Yeah. What some you think, sir? So? Some of the greats. For sure. Some of the greatest, like who? Pop. Oh man, of course. He went straight to pop. Got so to. clearly you're from <laughs> yeah. South Central LA. Yes, ma'am. South Central LA. Pac was the first person that came to your mind because? I mean, just because he used his regular and his mm -hmm. real name, you know what I mean? And he was one of the greats, that's it. Okay. Mm -hmm. How did you get started? I let people, a lot of people from LA, I feel like, are coming here now right. on some rapping stuff. Yeah, well, I mean, uh, I've been here, I've been coming back and forth for a second now. Mm -hmm. um, I definitely got some fam out here, so yeah, but uh, I mean, I got started like, I mean, it's a rapper story, you know what I mean? Um, I was pinning uh, since I was a kid, you know what I'm saying? And, um, and pinning meaning writing, right? Writing, See, exactly. sometimes you gotta Just you writing. Know, I, I was, I was the kid in the back of the class, like, not paying attention, you know what I'm saying? And just like, just pinning, you know? and. Uh, and then when I got things going, um, uh, I got a song on the radio out in LA, um, and then I started to move from there. And then uh, we just wait, started. wait, wait. So how old were you when you started writing? I started writing like when I was, I say like 11 or 12. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yep. So I was definitely in school. I was definitely like understanding the rhymes and the patterns and all that stuff. But yeah, so I started writing at an early age. Had a song on the radio in LA. Um, at what age? I think I had to be like 20, maybe like 20, 21. I'm 27 right now, so. Yeah, I've been doing it for a minute, but that was like the beginning of it all. Look like and how you niggas act like. Better get your act right, combine your skill with a flashlight. Meanwhile, in the back, see the demand. Fuck it, somebody bitch up, somebody act. I mean, South Central is kind of broad, so what kind of area did you grow up in? Was it like gang affiliated? Were you a part of that? Is that your yeah, inspiration? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, it's definitely part of the inspiration. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a lot of gang activity in Los Angeles, period. But um, South Central, yeah, you're right. It's it's it's, it's pretty vast. Mm -hmm. um, I grew up off of Adams and Vermont, Adams and Hoover. Uh, so it's like a lot of uh, gang activity amongst that area. But um, yeah, that's like pretty much the heart of uh, South Central because we're right next to USC, which is a college, mm -hmm. which is a University of Southern California. Um, and then right next to that is like the hood. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So I got best of so both worlds. Between. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still working on me, balancing some issues, but if niggas still want that issue, I got it for you. Just know I'm not your enemy, like they told you. Tell me about your struggles. Like, how did you get inspired from from that? Was it just seeing all your friends be a part of it, or were you just around it? Yeah, I mean, I was around it. Uh, I mean, I grew up in a project, so mm -hmm. it's like, um, you know, you hear helicopters driving by, you hear sirens, you know what I mean? I got friends, family that's in jail, dead. You know, it's, it's a typical rapper story, you know what I mean? But the, the, the only thing that makes it different for me is that um, I guess I, I, I was experiencing like both sides, you know what I mean? I got to experience the side of the streets and then I got bust out to like a school in the valley, so I got to experience that side mm, of things. Which is a major I mean? difference, especially in LA. Major like, difference, like from, major difference. It's like one spectrum to the other side. Yeah, it's like going from the suburbs back to the hood. Mm -hmm. Mind in prison, they want us all in prisons. They build in museums to places on the fence. Show their kids how they see us. This shit already been written. Rap race for the cheese. You better sing for that cheese. You had exactly. And then you would go back home to the hood, right? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, so did your friends, crazy. did your friends be like, oh, where are you from? And then you'd be like, would you lie? Well, or would you just tell them nah, the truth? Nah, you know what? A lot of my friends, they, they thought I was from, uh, I went to a school in the Valley called Taft. They thought that I was originally from there, right? Mm -hmm. But then when they saw me get back on the bus, they're like, yo, like, you stay in LA? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I didn't lie about it, but it was definitely like a struggle because it's like, you know, people, they got a, a stigma about, you know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. coming from the city to the suburbs, it's kind of like, oh, like, this dude is ratchet or he hood, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? He gonna so, rob my ass after school. Yeah, you know. Did you do any of that? <laughs> nah, nah right, not at school. Cool. I wasn't gonna do that. You knew better. 
Yeah, I knew better. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, we did we dabbled in things coming up, but I wasn't a, a actually I ran track at school. I played ball, you know, so I was I was a kid that um that did sports and stuff like that. So yeah, I couldn't I couldn't mess up. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Section eight all your life. I know how it feels, not using lights when it's light outside. Don't cry, don't type cry, of stress to make you want to take a life. Oh my, who am I to do right with my niggas? What you got going on right now? Man, right now, uh, I just dropped this project called Jensen Kirk LP. It's been making a lot of noise, put out two videos for it. So, uh, Murder Schemes is one. This is hell with no coke, put him in hell with a coke. They gon' suck till we blow. This is that Remy and coke. This is that fucking thing, no. This is that West Shot shit. Punch him right in the nose. Keep South Central Get the Money is one. Telling myself it's cool to have a message. But as that dog gets intercepted by this bad bitch that's twerking and this white bitch is slurping, falling victim to a circumstance. And uh, it's been moving, it's been working, and uh, we just been pushing that. Yeah. Nice, nice. Mm -hmm. I know back in 2009 you did a collab with Big Sean. They say it's just not fair. I conquer competition and they can never match my commitment to commission, man. I ain't trying to gas you up. I ain't at the no. Yeah, Sean is a good dude. Um, we linked up through uh, a mutual A&R and um, ever since then we've been cool, you know. Um, that was a while back though and, and since then like he's been he I mean he's taken off so shout out to him. But uh, yeah, we moved past that and uh, and we making more music, better music, and we growing for sure. Nice, nice. Yeah. Where can people find you? Uh, they can find me at JensenKirk.com. Uh, Jensen Kirk, everything really. Mm -hmm. Twitter, Instagram, all that. Yeah. Nice. What do you know? You really know about paper? Hey, what do you know? You really know about paper? I just want to let people know out there that it's like, you know, like just work towards their dreams and whatever you're trying to do, you can get to it. Cause That's it's dope. real, you know, for sure. I like that. I like how you're inspiring people already and you don't have to. Got to, well, I do have to. You don't have to, nobody has to do anything. But you just did I it and I respect that. For sure, I appreciate that. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we definitely want to hear some bars from you right now. So what you got? This shit got me feeling like stumping white cops to their life stop. Life of an animal in cage box. But now my niggas let K's pop. Uh, the white man been fucking us over. You niggas still holding hands and holding shoulders. Marching to these beats of these kids laying in the street. You niggas weak, oh chat, you niggas weak. This that weighing off that codeine flow. All bape camo hoodie, you know. This that mob, my niggas live, you just shucking you job. Rest in peace, James Brown, you niggas dance around lies. I just open my eyes, I'm that nigga off eyes. Spitting poetry, the niggas behind bars. I'm the only nigga behind these bars and you will never again become. Mass our boss, mass our boss, I mass my floss. Uh, let me get this off, put it in my will. That nigga Jensen was ill, he only spoke what's real. He only poke what's real. You got the nerd to pull up with a bitch looking like Medea, you ill? <laughs> I wish I was Killer Cam, maybe for real. Pink diamond chain, hopping out of pink range with a pink pinky ring. All my niggas is still slaves, slave to the pussy. Uh, that shit is gushy, I'm not a killer, but don't push me. And if Tony gave me one more, bet I make them legs so tap it like a drum roll, cause love ain't. Never what we came for. The irony is I get to killing these bitches so you sons of my kids get the shit while I live and fuck while I lay. Matter of fact, nigga, fuck you if you ain't while I lay. J. Cole, K. Dot, whoever running for that top spot. Ain't no room for us all. Fat bitches cock block. Only room for the cause. If you ain't with us, fuck them all. Nice. Yeah. Wait, let's let's revisit this verse as you just <laughs> as you just spit. You said fuck J. Cole. And then you wait, you said fuck Wale, then you said J. Cole, and then you just went at him. What are you, what you nah, trying to nah, say, nah, bro? Nah, 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 That's not. what it sounded like to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, like gotta... when, I like when you talk shit. Talk more shit, man. Yeah, <laughs> I like well, it. Well, <laughs> I mean, shit. I feel like all MCs should feel like they're the best. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? So that's first and foremost. But uh, nah, I just think uh, in my verse, you got to rewind the clip back. It's a lot of gems I put in there. You nah, know I, heard, I heard the good stuff. I heard that, I heard that. But the, you know, I'm, I'm not going to lie. I heard I, when I hear fuck somebody, I got to talk about it first. Yeah, but what I said was, Fuck you if you ain't Wale, J. Cole, K. Dot, whoever running for that top spot. Ain't no room for us all fat bitches cock block. Only room for the cause if you ain't with us, fuck them all. So what I'm saying is, is like, uh, if you not really talking about nothing, I ain't trying to hear that shit. Like we all go to the club, everybody do their thing and, I, and I'm with that. But as far as the music that I listen to, that I drive to, that inspires me and shit, like if you ain't talking about something, I ain't rocking with you. 
And then if you are talking about something and, and you in that lane, then I'm trying to take you out. Where can we find you at? Jensen Kirk everywhere. Uh, that's Twitter, Instagram, JensenKirk.com. Uh, yeah, it's pretty simple. That's what's up, man. Yeah, You're yeah. nice. I'm not gonna lie. Thank I, you. I, I wasn't, I wasn't that. expecting that. Yeah, I know. Ain't nobody expecting it, <laughs> but that's why we're here, though. Yeah. But yes, thank you so much for coming. I appreciate it. It was fun. Yeah, it was definitely And you was. definitely, um, yeah. you killed it. You really did. You killed it. You rocking on. I appreciate it, for sure. Thank you. Thank you. Got plots, murder schemes, 32 shotguns, make a nigga sing, make a nigga bleed. Ever try and take food from a nigga seed, you'll see IV hanging out his body like a dope fiend, pinning off in that camera.